Okay, we're on our way. It's awful sad saying goodbye to both of them. I really love my aunts. And I had a great time spending the summer at their place. But it's getting cold. <laughs> it's in the 50s. Lows are going down into the lower 40s at night. Uh, next week, actually, there's a 39, so it's definitely time to get out of Dodge. But you know, something else, um, I'm going to the BYOV. It's a bring your own vehicle. It's something that the um, Powa Alliance does to help people with their vans, and I'm one of the volunteers going in, and I have to be there in October. I really want to take my time going down to Nevada. I was really debating, do I go diagonal down the shortest route and save on gas, but it's kind of through the middle of the United States, or do I go across the top, which was what I planned all along, going across the top of the United States and then cutting down on 15 down into Nevada. And I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to try to hit the bad lands and and just see that area of the country because I've never been there before. One more thing, I'm going to be going through Canada to stop and dig out my passport because I've checked all the sites and I can drive right back across the border and don't have to show any proof at the American border. Hopefully I won't get stuck there. <laughs> Let's keep track of our mileage and our gas this time. guys <laughs> yeah it's just me I live in Texas I've been staying at my aunt's house up in New York and I'm kind of heading back that way now and how long are you going to be in Canada oh just crossing through to Ann Arbor Michigan that's my destination today no none of that have a good day thank you sir Okay, that was pretty painless. So we are in Canada. We are on the Queen's Highway. <laughs> 1.4 miles to get to the bridge, to the border. And it looks like it's probably gonna take us about 30 minutes. We got through the border going from America into Canada pretty easily. But yeah, we've got about three lights to get through and a lot of semis trying to cross this border. Here's the sign for the USA. car in front of me.
make me put my my van in park and open up the door so she could make sure I didn't have a traveler with me and just asked, you know, about firearms and and uh, drugs or food or, you know, got an animal with me or any of that stuff. So good morning. I had a good night's sleep at a rest area last night. And now I'm heading towards Chicago. Hopefully be around Chicago within about the next two and a half, three hours. I'll feel much better once I get around Chicago. I um, slept really well last night, but I woke up this morning and I thought, oh, it's chilly in here. And I looked at my phone to see what the temperature was and it was 38. No wonder it was a little chilly. But I sleep really well in that kind of weather. I think maybe after four years in the van, I've gotten a lot hardier. And um, I don't need to have it 68 degrees to be comfortable. This is just a rest stop, but look how beautiful and green it is. The leaves are starting to change. When I cut across in Canada, yeah, you could definitely see fall. Gas is getting a little bit more expensive. Not bad though, 409 at the lows. Okay, now we can see how good my mileage is. It took 20.744 gallons to fill it back up. This is going to be pretty cool. I am going to spend the night here so I can get up in the morning and really check out this place. But it's open 24 hours. It's like going into a food court in the mall. Now this is cool. Check out this painted semi. Right in the store. You know how I love murals. Well, this one takes the cake. <laughs> Support our troops. There's the buffalo. We got all kinds of America up there. Isn't that cool? Gotta love that. Going across America. Definitely DQ. And Pizza Hut and Wendy's. <clears throat> There's the Goodyear blimp. I like this. If you bought it, <coughs> truck brought it. <laughs> 